Hello and welcome back to the Calculator Review hosted on Caliquin.com. Today is the day after Christmas and I finally get to do a review I've been wanting to do for quite a while now. I've been holding off on this because this calculator is kind of special. So, uh, as you can see it comes in this really nice leather case with the Texas Instruments logo. So I guess that's a bit of a hint of what this is and also the video and article title. So yeah, this is the Texas Instrument TI-55. And this calculator is not all that special to me, but it is special to my father who I am giving this to. I have um, refurbished this and got it working again. So before I get into the functionality or even the look and feel or anything like that, I have a separate one. Um, so, as you can see, this thing's uh, disassembled. It's in okay shape. It does work. Um, but I, I bought a second one because I had to do some work on it. And I wanted this one to have to be in the best shape it could possibly be. So I did take some parts from this to make this one work even better. So the first issue is uh, these calculators are rechargeable. Now, they came out in 1977, so you know, almost 40 years old, uh, the old rechargeable batteries just simply don't work anymore. And I, I do have the, uh, the pack here. So these batteries are long, long dead. And I could probably replace them with like lithium ion or something. I don't know, but there's actually a much easier fix for this. And what that is, is a simple nine volt battery. So all I had to do was get uh, 9 volt battery terminals and then connect them into the, c the calculator and suddenly I have a working TI-55. And I don't need any kind of special cables, I don't need really any special anything because this works fantastic. So um, th this one uh, is, is missing a button up here. So. Uh, that's not really a fault against the calculator. I bought a defective one, knowing full well what I was getting. But it does work. So, uh, these calculators actually work just fine with a 9-volt battery. Um, I found the guides online to do this, and lied to my father and said that it was impossible to get these things working again, so that way he wouldn't be expecting this. But I'm pretty sure he saw through my lies. I don't know. I will... <laughs> so yeah, um, this ha this is one of the first modded calculators I've done. I th think it's really cool that I'm able to get this thing working again. Uh, one of the issues though is the battery cover has these little nubs on here and these have to be ground down in order to fit a 9 volt battery snugly in there. Uh, so you do have to make permanent changes to the calculator in order to get it to work. Uh, this won't sit flush unless these nubs are removed and a couple other spots. So it, it is unfortunate that I have to permanently alter the calculator. I really wanted to avoid doing that in case reasons, but alas, I was not able to. So yeah, this is uh, this is one I'm still kind of working on. I need to get a new button or a new uh, switch for the top up here. It, it needs a good cleaning and some additional work, but. I will get this one working again. This is the one that I will be keeping for myself because I really like this calculator and I can definitely see what my, my dad does. So anyway, on to the one that I'm giving to my dad. So this one is already fully modified, ready to go, ready to be wrapped up and given to him. So you can see here I have shaved off these nubs with a uh, Dremel and it it's just good enough. Um, I didn't do much. I, I didn't want to damage it any more than I absolutely had to. But it does fit nice and snugly now. So you just plug the battery in. And it does take a... It is a little awkward to put back on, but it, it does stay in place. So if you look here, you can actually see where the original plug would have gone, and this this required an AC adapter. But it was one of the earliest uh, 
programmable pocket calculators and the fact that it ran on rechargeable batteries is pretty fascinating. I really wish I could get those working again, but uh, the 9 volt replacement is just so much easier and it, I don't ever have to worry about the battery again. All I have to do is replace the 9 volt and those are very easy to come by. So anyway, turning it on, you get this really, really nice LED display. Uh, it's red, which I like. Now you have to hold it at kind of an angle in order to show it in the camera. Like uh, I can see it just fine here, but I'm realizing that the camera can't see it unless I tilt it up about 45 degrees. But the buttons on this thing are absolutely fantastic. I love these buttons. I love the feel of this calculator, the look of it. Um, the color scheme is fantastic. I love the, the black look with the gold trim. It feels really comfortable and you know just heavy enough in the hand to where it just feels really really good. So I, I, I do want to point out the, the clickiness of these buttons. It So this one that I'm giving to my dad still has the original foam inside of it and I do have pictures for the written portion of this review. Uh, that foam falls apart very easily so I didn't get into the inside of this very much but I did on this one and I'm glad I did it on the one that I'm gonna keep because I messed up this calculator pretty bad um, so as soon as I remove the all the front pieces I'll show you how that goes it's pretty awkward <laughs> yeah see that that's that's the other thing the, the buttons are just kind of loosely in there but I don't know if you can really see this, but they do show. It does show up in the pictures. I had to use duct tape to replace the foam. Um, I didn't want to do that with the one I was giving away because uh, it honestly doesn't feel great. It gets rid of the clicky sound and kind of muffles it. It still works just fine. It's just I, I prefer to give away the one that has the absolute original feel because. Uh, my father is a lot more familiar with this calculator than I am. So I wanted him to have one that was as close to the original as possible, with the only exception being that it now uses a 9-volt battery instead of rechargeable batteries. But, so yeah, I, I now have to reassemble this. <laughs> oh well. So I'm going to set this aside for now because this is kind of a disaster here. So anyway, back to the, uh, the calculator itself. Amazing buttons. Uh, this does have the square root of 2 times the square root of 2 equaling 2. So 2 square root times 2 square root. And this was actually one of the uh, factors that made it such a useful calculator back in the day because the standard deviation was spot on. I believe that's the term. Uh, these are very, very accurate calculators, and a lot of schools back then would only allow students to use Texas Instruments because of that, at least according to stories I've heard. I don't know for a fact if that's true, but I will try to find out. But yeah, I am very, very excited to, to give this to him. I, I think he's going to be very excited to see it and to be able to use one again. He has mentioned that he would love to get his hands on one again, so hopefully he doesn't know this thing's coming to him, but either way, I'm sure he's gonna be very happy to get it. Um, yeah, so I I'm really excited. <laughs> so I'm gonna put this back in its case. This is gonna get wrapped up, and I, I really can't wait to see his expression and see how he reacts to it. I won't be recording that though because, um, you know, I don't think anybody here cares. But even if you did, I'm not. I'm not gonna record my family. Anyway, I'm just gonna stop the video there because now I'm talking about non-calculator related things. I hope you had a wonderful holiday week, celebrating whatever it is you celebrate. And if you don't celebrate anything. 
that's cool too. I hope you had a decent week regardless. Uh, yeah, goodbye.